Let's face the facts, folks. You need your fridge to keep cold, especially when you're in the middle of Florida in the summer. Mm. That's when it hits home. So Carl's gonna lay out all the juicy details for you and I'll walk you through this one single stinking awesome hack that is just gonna nail it for you. You feel the energy, it's gonna nail it for you and really help keep that fridge cold. Keep the cool vibes coming, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Dexter, this is your father speaking. Our fridge has been struggling hardcore to keep up. If you guys know anything about RV fridges, they don't like to work properly like ever. Weird to think we put men on the moon and all the things we have accomplished in mankind, but yet we can't keep an RV fridge cold. I mean, really, come on. What we previously did was install a fan on the back of this vent cover, and that just kind of helps to push extra air into the back of this unit here to really help keep things cool. Because as is, it's a confined space, and a lot of heat likes to settle right down in this little tiny black hole. You gotta help it as much as you can. We've been rocking this fan, as you can see with all the rust and cobwebs for well over a year. It's long overdue for a change. I'm just kind of like skeptical about it being all rusty and electrical wires, probably not the safest thing, as the kids like to say all that jazz. Once again, I don't know if that's what the kids like to say, but that's what Carl likes to say. When I put this in last time, a lot of y'all were asking, what am I plugging this into? And there is a 110 plug back here. They had an extra one back here, so I just ended up plugging it in there and works out great. Always come to the job prepared, unlike Carl. I gotta go to my handy dandy tools here and my handy dandy tool bag. Yes, the bucket boss. This thing is sweet. Keeps everything nice and rolled up and in individual bags. So when I'm done, it rolls up into this nice little compact bag and then voila! Now I need to actually look for the tool I need. Where are they? Ah, there it is. Flush cutters. Look at those bad boys. Keeping it flush. Yes, I said it flush. All right, let's get back to work. If you are having a problem with keeping your fridge cold, I'm gonna go out on a huge limb. No, not the type of limbs that fall in the RV like before, but the limb that helps you people and supports friendships, and that's what it's all about, is supporting one another. This has helped us tremendously. If we didn't have this right now, I don't know, I might as well just stick our hot dogs in a sauna or... That didn't sound right. I, you know what I mean, it's just, it's hot. I'm trying to get these stinking, there it is. You gotta use the tip, that's what I'm saying. Mmm, you know, mmm. No, that doesn't work like that. Your fridge is struggling to stay cool. I would go out on a limb and say, you need to try to figure out a way to ventilate it better in the back. That's where most of the problem is, is circulation inside the fridge and making sure things are away from the walls, making sure the seals on the doors are properly secured and like sealed up nicely, you're not losing air that way. And then last but not least, making sure there's plenty of ventilation in the back to keep that hot air going out. Because if it just settles behind the fridge, the fridge can't cool properly. And that's just not cool. I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan. Are you getting sick of this? Now this dad could get this stinking. <laughs> Look at that. Carl actually did something right for once. So yeah, I'm throwing this bad boy away. Look at this thing. It looks like it's straight out of like a 1930s movie. The best part about this install is it is so easy. Even Carl can do it, that's saying something. I mean, Nene let me out here unsupervised. I mean, need I say more? No, I don't need to say more. Instructions, it comes with instructions, but who needs that? Nobody needs that in their life. No one needs that negativity. This little kit comes with everything you could possibly need. You plug it into the 110, and then it even comes with an adjustable knobby thing here if you wanna turn down the fan or turn it up. Like if you need more ventilation or less, you're like, whoa, this is keeping my fridge really cool. Too many cool vibes coming? Back it off, you're all good. Okay, now I just gotta remember where I mounted this onto the mounting plate. Did you guys Remember that, where, where where it goes exactly? I was waiting for you. I was expecting you guys. No, not, not, it's not on me. Uh, all right, I'll take the blame this time. Just this one, so this mounts in here like that. I'm a fan of that, I like that. Flip it backwards. We're gonna need it like in here. Oh yeah, I'm liking that a lot. <laughs> Goodness, Carl, get a grip. I'm gonna say let's mount it here because that looks pretty handy dandy. You know what, I should probably make sure the fan is actually blowing to the inside. <laughs> Uh, are you guys still with me? What a bing, bada boom. What the? Oh yeah, that's the money. Don't forget your zip ties when you do this project. All you need is four of them to hold it in, and then you're golden. In lots of ways, you're golden, because you get to hang out with Carl, and Carl's bringing all the golden facts. Got a golden goose of a secret here. 
they probably didn't think about. And just lots of golden vibes coming. If you guys want to let everyone else in the comments in on some details of tricks you've learned, tricks of the trade, throw it in the comments below so everyone can learn because we like to go through it as well and make sure we're on the right path. We'll be like, oh, I didn't know that. You always learn something new every day. Am I right? Tell me I'm wrong. I'm right. I know. I got it. I hear you. Look at that. Isn't that snazzy? So here's a really cool part. These flush cutters will take it right off at the tip there and it won't leave that sharp edge. You know when you cut the excess off zip ties, it leaves that sharp edge. You cut yourself and you're like, why am I even alive? Like this doesn't make sense. This is so stupid. Flush cutters. They'll save you a lot of hassle. Apologies for my rudeness. How's your summer going? Are you guys staying nice and cool out there? Is it just me or do you always sit there and guess like, I hope I have the zip tie in, right? Like, you know, they watch those movies and they always zip tie everybody. I would be that awkward guy on there, like trying to be like, hold on, I gotta take it off and flip it around here. <laughs> Excuse me. I told you, I put it on backwards, all that maneuvering and, and then somebody's gonna make a comment saying, well, you gotta like make sure the teeth are lined up with the zippy part, zippy. Wish I would have known that a little earlier. <laughs> okay, folks, I got it. You heard, you heard it. We're good now. Everyone just calm down. Stay calm. Bloop. All right, it's been three hours and I finally got the zip ties on. <laughs> we should be good to install it now. It's all in day's work is what I like to say. <laughs> One more thing before I get this puppy officially installed is I want to get it cleaned up behind the fridge there. There's a lot of grime and dust buildup and I don't know, it just doesn't look good. I don't know if it's a fire hazard, so might as well address it now while I have it all pulled apart. That way we can just do everything once and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Hanks. Yeah, thanks, Hanks. Excuse me, sorry. I think what I'm gonna do is just use a little compressed air, you know, address it back there and call it good. The propane is not running, hence I would not do that if that were the case. You do not wanna spray like an accelerant near open flames. Compressed gas, it just sounds, it sounds accelerable. Is that a word? I don't know, we're going with it. Cobweb, get off. It's a mess back here. Run out of juice here. You gotta tell Nene to get some more spray spray. But that's what you get when you live full time in an RV. Don't be mistaken, by the way, if you are planning to sell a sticks and bricks and move full time into an RV, that all your problems are just gonna magically disappear. It just doesn't work like that. RV life is just life itself wrapped up in a little cocoon called an RV and it continues to throw all those wild curveballs that you had to deal with with the home. So yeah, just plan for that. RV life never seems to stop making things interesting. I am officially out of juice. No, I'm not a litter bug. Of course I'm gonna get that. Just, you know, a man's work zone here. You know, you gotta be in the projects and just start throwing things and talking really loudly to a camera. It's all normal. Ah, right. oh, almost there. I guess I should have tested the fan before I actually installed it. All this work and it's probably gonna bite me right in the butt, you know? Mm. It works. It works so nicely. Oh, that feels good. It's the little things in life, I tell you what. And voila. That is that. Some other people have also been suggesting some really great ideas, like putting another fan in the vent above to help push some of that hot air out. Because if you didn't know already, hot air rises. So all that hot air kind of gets collected up there as well. So yeah, I got the bottom uh, fixed up here nice and well. So maybe I should do the top as well. The next project not today, next one. So some key takeaways here is make sure you have good ventilation and another way you can make sure you're having good ventilation is making sure that your fins are evaporating in the back of the fridge. You need to have a, a drainage tube. Let me, let me just show you. This drainage tube right here helps pull out some of that condensation from what's inside the fridge. If you ever look on the inside of your fridge and you see those fins on the back of your fridge and they build up with some moisture, this is where this comes into play. And that little black cap on the end there it holds a single drop in there so that nothing backflows up into this tube, which is really cool too. So don't take that black cap off. If anything, make sure you clean that black cap and that way it can drain into this drain pan here, no problems. <sighs> Job well done. And Carl, you must think you're really cool just throwing stuff everywhere, talking and vlogging and shoving the camera on your face. Man, everyone's looking around like you're really cool here, man, just littering everywhere. So cool, Carl, so cool.